Hello everybody, I am Bolt Up, and today I'll be presenting my Tournament of Doom run from this past weekend. So this is the follow-up from the weekend before, where I did finish in the top four with Charizard. This time it is, I believe it's towards 60 from EUIC. Um, if it's not exact 60, it's really, really close. But I decided to take this for a run, and it was not quite as good as the week before. I did end up going 3-3, three and three. so go ahead and be sure to watch these games, see, you know, how, see my plays and see you know, where I could have improved. I definitely know a couple places I could have improved, but I am including this as it is just preparation for my Indianapolis Regional, trying different Charizard lists, see how they feel, uh, so that way I am prepared when the Indianapolis Regional comes around. So go ahead and check out these games. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you do enjoy the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate any support you have for the channel. So without further ado, here are the games. All right, so round one, we are going against Ancient Box. Four Cryodon, four Fluttermane, four Roaring Moon, one Radiant Greninja. This is, I feel like, generally a fine matchup for me. I just need to, I need to be able to start attacking fast. If I, if I stutter, if I can't get going early, then they can get a advantage on me. <clears throat> Got the got the commander going first. We got the flutter main, which is fine. I get to go second, which I am okay with. They got a decent start going. Nothing. Okay, here we are. They're going to get some Ancients in there now. Yep, they got one Ancient in there so far. This is why I feel like Lost City would be pretty solid, because being able to Lost Zone some of these Roaring Moons might be pretty good, so they can't just keep getting them back. Or anything, really, because then they're not, not getting Ancients added back to their deck. Ugh, man. Wheel? I have to Iono. I don't want to give him any more cards, but I have to Iono. Eek. That did not help me. Not in the slightest. So I could lose, like, now. I might just lose. That bricked. Yeah, that's a that is a rough start for me. This is not the position that I wanted to be in. I uh, if they have a vitality, I just lose. Well, maybe not. They need a vitality and a switch. Because they need to get the flutter main out and then get two energies on the Karaidon. Well, I guess. Or two here, too. But regardless, they need two on something, and they need to retreat the Flutter Main, which they got the retreat at the Flutter Main. Oh, no. I survive. I survive. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drop that so I don't lose, I guess. Oh, that was rough. That was really rough. Okay. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Buddy, buddy. Cleffa, I think. Uh, yes, I want the Cleffa. And Pidgey. Eh. What are the bibs? I have an Ultra Ball. Well, I have the Rotom. But I don't necessarily want to be giving up extra two prizes. Let's do this. Then I can retreat into the Cleffa. Defiance Band... I won't need it when they knock out the Cleffa. So we're going to do this. I think Charmeleon 
is possibly what I'm going for. It's got to be. It's got to be Charmeleon. Nothing else. Yeah. Charmeleon. We're going to retreat into the Cleffa. And we're going to do uh, Evolve here. And then we're going to draw. Okay, we're back in the game. We are back in the game, folks. Man, I'm glad I got that on video. That could have been terrible. Okay. All right. Now we're now we're fighting. <laughs> that could have been bad. All right. What do they got? I wish this counted like ancients over here. Four, five. They got five in there so far. Six, seven. We just threw two in, right? Yeah. Oh, and the guidance. Three, four, five, six. I can't count. They have eight. So they have eight in the discard pile right now. They do a boss. Oh, there we go. And the Zard. Okay. Now we're rocking. Now we are rocking, folks. What can he max out at? Okay. 30 for each ancient. They have five ancients, so 150. Not enough to kill a Zard, which is nice. Um, I'm going to hold on the Poffin, I think. Oh, yeah, we totally. We're, we're, we're fine. We are in fine shape now. Um, we have recovered from the terrible, terrible start. And we are in fine shape. I'm not worried anymore. Their start was... It, it looked better at first, but... Ultimately, it was as bad as mine because they were not able to get going. So we can boss something. Let's go ahead and just get another Zard. I'm going to evolve that Charmeleon there. Or no, I, wait, is this turn I played Charmeleon? No, that was last turn. That was last turn. So we can do this, and then we can also get Bib set up. So we are in very good shape. Here, they can trap something, but they need to take knockouts. They can't just sit behind and trap things. So we got this. We're going to boss, and we're just trying to knock them out quickly. Getting the first prize is solid, because um, this deck can race, but it just takes them a little while to get going. And you're trying to make sure my mouse doesn't die charge into them between turns <clears throat> okay do 150 can't knock out the Crydon and well, I need the vacuum. I can I can vacuum with the Pidgeot, which is fine, I think. They do that. I Pidgeot for the vacuum. And then go from there. Oh, another boss. But I think I just knock out the Crydon. I try to keep him on the back foot. How much is their their moon gonna do now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 7, that's 19. So that's actually going to do more than the Coridon. So I think I do want boss. So I'm not even going to worry about the vacuum right now. We're going to do that. Because the Coridon can't knock me out, but the moon can. So I am more worried about the moon than anything else. Okay. Four seal does me no good. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I already bossed it up. Okay. So going up two prizes to none feels fine. Especially because on board, they can't knock out my Zard yet. Okay. 
Uh, yep, two moons, two moons back. Have they played any Sadas? I don't think they have. One. They're down one Sada. They're down two Sadas. Okay. There's a moon. And there's another Sada, so now they're down three Sadas. They... Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're doing a lot. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-one. Yeah, so they're they're able to knock a, knock out a Zard. They're able to two hit a Zard right now. So there goes Zard number one. But that's fine because they're down three sadas right now. I'm assuming they have a pal pad. They don't. No, they do. There it is. Okay, they do play pal pad. I think I just stay here with the Zard and keep hitting. Because they're still not going to one shot me. Radiant Zard is going to be valuable later. Uh, let's go. Commander. I think I just want to run them out of cards. That Roxanne is going to be very, very good later. Those aren't going to do me any good. Iono. Possibly to take them down to four. Because my hand is pretty dead, pretty clogged. So an Iono to take them down to four, take me down to four, I can bib up to five. Get rid of cards that I don't need. And let's get another Zard. Now we can B barrel for three. Okay. So we got Candy Zard for that Charmander. 240. We're going to one shot everything now. TM Devo is worthless against them. Still only doing 150 at most. I don't want to play the collapsed because I don't necessarily want them to get another um, another ancient on the bench because then their Coridon can start two hitting my Zard. But I don't want him to be able to two hit it. One fifty. I want to boss a rounder. Am I out of bosses? Uh, yep. Not who I was looking for. Okay, two bosses. I should have another boss. I can candy there. But. Take that down. I go to two. What do they have? How much damage are they doing? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen. 19 plus 7. Still not one hitting me. So I think I have a turn. I think I have a turn. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I have an Arvin. No, because I'm going to play Yelskshir. I think I want to play Yelskshir. We're going to yell cheer. Oops, not you. You. Maybe Iono? Because here and here, that should be all I need. And I can have a Radiant Zard if I need it. 
Or maybe just that. Just get those two bosses back in there. Hey, Death. Thanks for joining me. I'm guessing you lost. Judging by your... your la less than excited. Oh. Um, you need to go back and watch this video because I almost bricked super hard at the beginning of this. Like, almost lost on turn two. Okay, so the collapsed might actually be good getting the pig out of here because I think it's going to become a liability. Um, so we're going to go one, two, and three. TM Devo doesn't matter. Let's draw up some more. Okay, so I have the boss. Which means I can probably get rid of the, the Pidgeot now. I think. Are they down all Sadas? No, they have one Sada left. So if I take this knockout, I have two prizes left. I don't think it's possible for them to one shot my Zard. But I still have I still have the Radiant Zard. So I think I just get rid of the Pidgeot now. Okay, expected that. Take this knock. So I'm down to two. They can take my Zard down this turn, and then I have Radiant Zard and the, the, the other one. Started Pidgey, Ultra for Rotom, hit three energy, drew Arvin, Pidgey died next turn. Ugh. That's not good. It's not a great start. Where's their Palpad? They have a pal pad or is it prized? They have to have a way to shuffle those in, right? They have two rods. Have they played either rod? They played one rod. Okay, there's the pal pad. So they can get two sadas, but then they're just drawing their hand dead again. One sada. Okay. They'll have to take, I guess they'll have to take two knocks. 280. Get two prizes. They have two. So I need to put them on a clock. So if I go, if I go Radiant Zard, I just, I don't think they have the cards to win, right? I don't need to boss anything right now. What do we what do we have left? There's a Roxanne Furrow, there's a vacuum. I don't really need any of those. Nothing really to Arvin outside of thinning the deck. Uh yeah, maybe. Yeah, not really, probably. I don't think that matters. But I get to thin the deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
Okay. Oh, maybe they can. Maybe they do have enough. I just don't know the math. I guess I can just count their deck list here, can I? Because everything is pretty much in there. 4, 8, 12. Well, what do they have? They have, yeah, 330. Okay, so they had it. Radiant Zard is probably the call right there. That was probably my screw up. So they have like almost exactly enough to do the 330. That is what I get for not really paying attention. But I'll be there for the challenge. Uh, no, I do not want to go first. Which is fine because I... Well, no, they want to go second. Yeah, yeah, so we're good. We're good. They want to go second. And that's not what I want to start with. Cario, Sandy Shocks, Raging Bolt. Oh, I love that Riolu. Love that Riolu. And pass. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's do something here. We got we got Iono. Ooh, we got Arvin. Uh, we got the Buddy Poffin. Let's drop that first. Uh, do some prize checking. That's something I forgot to do last game. Um, okay. So all those are there. We're down one Zard. We're down a Pidgeot. We're down a Poss. Down a boss. We're down a rod. We're down a candy. Okay. So we're going to go here. Um, it's possible I can retreat out of the mana fee this turn. Uh, death after a certain amount of, make sure you check in even without an opponent make sure you check in and then there is a timer that'll run out and if your opponent doesn't check in you win the game um let's go cleffa three four five because we're gonna i own it down to six let's cleffa well maybe get a free win out of this death one, two, three, four. I could Arvin for a buddy. Maybe that's just better. Arvin for a buddy poppin. I think that is a better play. I almost just never use Rotom. Maybe I just don't need Rotom anymore. Uh, there's nothing to Devo in this deck. Lucario is the only evolution in the B barrel. But Lucario's got like yeah, 120 hit points. So there's no reason to use that. Let's drop that. Um, let's drop the def Oh wait, no, I can't I can't even retreat now. So never mind. I can't retreat out of the mana fee. Death, did you get an opponent? Six, one twenty, one thirty. So yeah. So you got the win? One and one. One and one, bro. So yeah, I'm totally thinking about just dropping Rotom and Four Seal Stone. Four Seal Stone is, is really valuable, but I find myself just not using Rotom because I don't want to put that two prizer out there. And if I do that, I could also drop Collapsed for Lost City. Or 
or I just need to start using Rotom again. Because here I would have been I would have been able to draw three cards instead of the Clefagus sitting on my bench. Is that for the Raging Bolt? Yep. Seventy for each they discard, right? Yep. Three energies back in. Fighting energy, yeah, okay. Those are gone. You're gone. Yeah, um, Forest Seal does work on the Luminian, but the Luminian is, well, I guess, uh, yeah. I, I kind of feel like I don't play Luminian right either. Um, yeah, it, it works with it, but I always use Luminian late game but i probably should be using earlier because late game i have the pig jet anyway so i don't really need the luminian late game but yes um my thought was if i drop the forest seal it just adds one more spot for something else 318 210 210 with that no 1821, that's 240 with that, 260, so I can't knock out the Bolt, but if I knock out the Lucario, so I don't need that, yeah, I, I mean, they, they're, they're valuable, they have value, but yeah, I don't like having the, the Rotom sitting on the bench, which is why I do play the Collapsed. It would just be nice if I didn't have to play the collapsed, and because I like Lost City better, but you need the collapse to get rid of the Rotom or the Luminian. However, I feel like I'm in good shape if I knock out the Lucario here, because they don't have any energy ramp right now for their their um, raging bolt. Now they do. I guess that didn't that didn't do anything yet. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I need the max belt or that to knock out the which that's not going to do anything because we're even on prizes. So I need the max belt to knock out the Sandy Shocks. And if I have to Arvin, then Arvin for the candy, I'm not going to be able to boss. But I could max belt, but it's not going to it's not going to knock out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, honestly, Collapse might be pretty good right now. I'm just making them drop something because their bench is full of, of everything useful. So that's actually probably pretty solid. Gonna throw away the Rotom because I don't ever want to see that card again this game. I probably don't need the Cleffa. I'll hold it. Pidgeot, Arvin for candy, and then I got the Pidgeot rolling. So 
Charizard belted up can knock out anything unless they throw the ancient energy booster capsule on it. So I'll get my second Charizard set up. If they go down to three prizes, then I really can knock out anything. Energy switch. What does that do? Move the capsule. Move the bibs. Drop more. Use your second raging bolt. With the energy capsule. They're going through quite their quite a bit of their deck. Okay, no attack. Do sixty. We go seven, fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight. Enough, but that's fine because I've already got set up at this point. I'm going to make them choose. Choose something with an energy. Choose draw support. Okay, so I got rid of draw support. Put your million here, and then we can go Arvin for the candy. Go Pidgeot, and then go Charizard number two. Or, well, okay, so then we have that. Discard those two and get B-Barrel. Charizard number two. He gave the uh, the defeated emoji there. One and two, because we don't have any Vs. Get B barrel. No energies, no Pokemon I want back. Draw back up. Okay, Roxanne could be helpful if they, when they take this Zard, the Roxanne could be helpful. Um, that Charmander will be able to take out the Sandy Shocks next turn. So, unless I get an Iono, my plan next turn is to, if they keep the, the Sandy Shocks out there, then Roxanne... Charmander, but it looks like they are going, possibly going to go Raging Bolt because they're going to lose those energies anyway. They know it's going to get knocked out. So they're spreading those out. You want to get a Lightning on the Bolt? Yeah, Sada's going to get it there. Okay, so they actually can do that. What are they playing? Gusts. Two boss and one counter capture. Have we seen anything? They're all teched out here, aren't they? Blinged out. Uh, we've seen the counter capture. We have not seen any of the bosses yet. Getting rid of the max belt or the stadium? Oh, they're getting rid of that. Okay. Yeah, because they're knocking out the Zard. Gonna go raging bolt to knock out the Zard. If 
they had the boss. I almost think knocking out the Pidgeot might be better. No, because... 27. Because then that'll be enough to knock out here. So this way, they know that I can't knock out their, their Bolt. But... If they knock that out, I promote Charmander... I can go down to one prize. Still got, there's a candy. Okay, so I have two candies left. So they have B barrel. So a rock sand doesn't do a ton for me. Get them up to five instead of the seven they have now. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna rod some things back here. Um, we are tied in prizes. Yeah, two bosses, which is all I need. So if they knock out the Charmander... Uh, I'm one prize away. If they don't knock out the Charmander, or if they knock out the, the Charizard, knock out the Pidgeot, I'm fine. If they knock out the Charizard, I can Pidgeot for something for a piece here. So play two Ionos, they have one left. <clears throat> the Zard off the prizes so we're down to one prize if they boss I guess if they Iono their counter character's gone so if they Iono they can't boss so they have to knock that out and then I can win with the Charizard if they boss they can't Iono So I feel like I'm in a good spot right now. There's the boss on the Charizard. They take that out. I evolve the Charmander into Charizard, boss up the B barrel and win. Isabel, Isabel, that it? Hello. Thank you for joining the stream. About to get the win here against Raging Bolt. I guess I'm doing 330. I don't even need to boss anything up. Let's just take it right there. You won your match. What is your record? You in the tournament? Yeah, this, um, the three Aries and the TM Devo is scaring me a little bit. I think I need to, like, just target the B barrels. Maybe. So he can't draw. Arceus has a tendency to brick. So if I, <laughs> if I get him to brick, I'll be fine. 
What's he playing against? Let's see what he has played against so far. Um, Charmander. Okay, so he lost round one to Roaring Moon to Dunsparce. And round two, he beat Serena EX. Boss is gone. Oh, okay. So Luxray could hurt. Gosh, I mean, dude has everything. Three cards in hand. Question is, is one of those a B barrel? I don't necessarily want to throw the hand away. Only has two cards in hand. I'm going to risk it. I don't want to give him more cards. No, there's the V-Star. Yep, should have just went for it. Yeah, Charmeleon's nice. Um, however, that hurt. That hurt. He even plays a Palpad, too, so we can just use Airy multiple times. It's, this deck is really, really good against me, but I think it's not great against other decks. Oh, gosh. Dude has everything. He has everything he needs. That Arceus and the double turbo in the hand was nice. I mean, I, I obviously I should have Ionoed, but you just don't know. You never know. Um, I have nothing. I have <laughs> absolutely nothing. If I could retreat the Charmander, that would be nice. But we unfortunately have to just go here. Oh, you got the three Charmanders prized? Yeah, that happens to the best of us, bro. Happened to me in a Charizard mirror match. Couldn't do anything about it. Uh, so I'm going to lose my Arbin or my I'm going to lose my Forest Seal Stone. Yeah. So I can lose my Forest Seal Stone. going to run me out of resources. Okay, um, drop the fish, yep, I don't know, I just need to get something going here. I don't know a way. Okay, another Charmander. I'm an eerie. Gosh. Okay. Do I have B barrel? I do. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna roll B doof here, because. I'm just 
not having the candies could be in trouble. All right, let's, let's, uh, oh shoot. Well, he might get rid of the candy. I don't know. Because I can Arvin for another Ultra Ball. Uh, evolve what? The, the Charmander? Because I want the Ultra Ball for the B-Barrel. That's really my only hope of getting back in the game. Um, they're going to Fang Snipe. I'm assuming they're going to take the Rare Candy. Which is going to put me down to two. Okay, there's the Ionos. So never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's the B-Barrel anyway. And is he out of Grabbers? There's one Grabber left. So... Probably the cheer. Okay, he's taking the boss, which means I can I can cheer it right back. So there's the B barrel. Um, let's see what what all can I bring back. I can. What do I want to do? We're gonna cheer back. Boss Iono Iono, I think. Do that. I'm going to keep the rod. I'm probably going to need that later. He's only doing 10 a turn. Yeah, the 30 could be important. So let's do that. Now he's going to start hitting. <clears throat> so there's that. I can ride those back and try to get him back. What does he play in? Switches. Plays with Sharon's Care. One switch. Have we seen the switch? Yes, we have seen the switch. Um, and then two jets. Have we seen anything with energies? No jets. We have not seen a jet yet. Throw those back in. Get the Charmillion up there. Uh, actually. Let's try the Bidoof again. <clears throat> and you start drawing. Okay, there's our Charmillion. Um, he's down to one grabber, right? Yeah, he's down to one grabber. He's nest dash drawn. There's two B barrels. So we can get another one. There's the airy. So Ultra Ball is going away. Knockout on the Charmander. He is now down to four prizes. I'm 
Pig Geat. Pig Geat. Which isn't going to help me. Um, let's make them try to do something. I think is what I want to do. No, I have three candies left. Still have three candies. There's a cyclone. There's the jet. There goes the Bidoof. Pretty much kind of what I figured how this game would go with seeing that deck. Charizard got hit with a grabber. has everything. Airy. There goes two rare candies. I'm down to one candy. And going down to two prize cards. Um, I'm sure it's fun for him. I'm sure it's really fun for him. And I'm not going to lie, I do enjoy playing decks, being on that end of decks like this. So yeah, I'm sure it's sure it's fun for him. I do not fault him in any way for playing this deck. Um, It's fine. It is not fun on my end, but, you know, you you play what you need to to win the game. What's, uh, was it Herm Edwards? You play to win the game. You play to win the game. However you do it. Uh, what's my board? Nothing. Um, no, I don't want to get those out yet. You play to win the game. There, I've seen one boss. He plays, what I say? Three bosses? Two bosses. So he still has another boss somewhere. At least I can get two prizes right now. And there's really only two threats. Um, the problem is he can take the knock on the Luminion next turn and just win. So if he has the boss, I lose. Um, well, yeah, so my opponent is Handlock Arceus. So he, he plays cards to take items, plays three Ares. Um, he plays the Luxray to take any trainer. He plays Grabber to take Pokemon out. So his the idea is he just takes the hand down completely, and when he does that, there's really nothing I can do. Uh, okay, Mew doesn't do much. Uh, he's still got two B-Rails, so he's going to dig for that last boss and just try to win. Since Mew has the free retreat. Because um, he will be able to get the knock, well, on either of those, actually, because that has two, 200. So, and there's the Devo. But this one has the Charmeleon, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, this one has a short million. So if he does Devo, I'm fine. Yeah. No big deal for me. Question is, did he take collapsed? Is there is collapsed gone? No, I still have the collapsed. Um I think I do this. And then I hope to get collapsed so I can get the fish. Well, no, because they still have, I still have that. So never mind. That was a dumb idea. Um, I don't want them to keep that in the active so I can retreat that if I need to. What am I doing? 600, oh, 600 in Mew. Uh, three, that would get me to 330, which is still not enough to take out the Arceus. The Mew would take me down to two prizes, though. Um, 250, 280. I don't think it matters. This. Oh, Death, you got the win? Good work. If it wasn't for those B barrels, I'd be in good shape. Devo doesn't help. Vacuum would help, but I'm vacuum is prized, I would assume, because I haven't seen it yet. I did not price check this game because I was too busy lamenting about how terrible this game has been going. Um because if I could boss or counter capture vacuum, that would be pretty good. So I think I just take the two prize knock here. Well, that's all I can do. Take the two prize knock here and hope they don't have a boss for that. Oh shoot, yeah, you won with three Charmander's prize. How'd you do that? What did you have? Fluttermate. If he had the boss, well, okay, he's going to dig for it. Maybe the boss is prized. Maybe the last boss is prized. Great plays. What did you play against? Maybe the last boss is prized, and if it is, I might just win. He has one more industrious incisors. If his last boss is prized, I'm in really good shape. Retreat. Oh, nope. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's just going to try to hit the two. Oh, no boss. No boss. Oh, come on. I could totally come back and win this game. I still have a counter catcher, right? Nope, it's gone. So I need a boss. If I have a boss, I just win. <laughs> I somehow got there. Holy cow, I somehow got there. I don't know how I got there. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I got there. I was just lamenting about this game the whole time. He totally had a boss and probably his pal pad prized. I can't believe I got there. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping two losser can make top eight. Yeah, this tournament specifically goes really late, but... Um, the advantage is that I can actually play in it because of that. Um, would this be in an Arceus deck? I think I want to go first. I think I want to go first. Because they're probably not going to attack turn one. I just need to get going. Um, yeah, this one, it actually works out for me because I don't have, you know, with family and everything else, I don't have a ton of time to, to be in tournaments. So... This one's starting so late, everybody else is in bed, so I can actually, you know, get up and uh, be here playing in this tournament. Um, but the last one, making the semifinals of top eight, I was up until 3.30 in the morning. So that was not the most fun thing in the world. Um, let's see, Poffin. What do I have? There's one Charmander. So one Charmander is prized. 
Um, oh, one Zard is prized. One boss is prized. One candy is prized. One poffin is prized. And my belt is prized. Okay. So let's do that. And then we can nest for the Pidgey. And then I'm going to Rotom. And draw some cards. Yeah, the uh, the tournament last week was it was rough. I I was getting really really tired. Um, I don't think I lost due to being tired. Um, I played against Pigjack Control, and I don't really know if there was any any chance I had a win in that. He was a very very good player. I'm sure I made some mistakes and I need to go back and watch the whole thing. The last turn I watched a couple of the games, but I need to go back and watch the whole thing. Uh, we got 136 people in this tournament. 136, eight rounds, top eight cut. Who will make cut? One player will be 8 0. Four, so we might get a couple two loss players. Nine is in nine PM or nine AM. Did you play all through the night? What what did we just do? Oh the the Eric is invitation by Luminian? Seriously? That's not very nice, guys. Nine PM. <laughs> what time does a late night start? Because that doesn't seem like a late night to me. I think I'm in good shape here. Especially because I have the choice belt. This is why I keep the choice belt around. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I can retreat out of that. Choice belt knocks 18. Oh, no, it's 21, not 22. Blast. I can't do math. Um, Whale. I think I want to keep that in the active still. Um, they're not going to knock out my Charizard yet. We can do, whoops, we can do this. I'm going to hold on to the Forest Seal. We're going to attach that to the Charmeleon. Um, this way no yeah yeah let's just do that i for some reason i thought that was gonna do 22 but it's only gonna do 21 which is unfortunate but it is what it is i unfortunately only do 210 with a 330 hp pokemon on turn two so <laughs> that's fine um so top cut calculator One half of a person will be 8 and 0. So we might have an 8 and 0. 4.3 people will be 7 and 1. So we'll have probably five people at 7 and 1. That means three people with two losses or one loss and one tie are going to make top cut. Oh man, that soothing lullaby is miserable. Um, I can possibly retreat the Charizard to get it. Well, can you retreat sleep? I guess I don't even know that. I would assume you can. Oh, no. Pokemon cannot retreat if it's asleep. That's rough. So I'd be stuck turrowing if they put my Charizard to sleep. I turro... And then do something. Okay, so there's a switch. Trinity Nova. 
be able to throw energies over there on the Drago. I'm assuming they don't have the V-Star since they didn't play it. I feel like if they had it, they would have played it. Filling up that bench with the Luminium is pretty strong for him. Pretty good play with the Erica's Invitation. However, no, I don't have a way to... Well, no, I can. I can get the Pidgeot. Do they play anything that I need to worry about? Soul Seal Stone. Um, do they play any tools? They play a hero's cape, so I probably should keep the vacuum for the hero's cape. I don't want to give them any more cards. Two is where I want them to be, though I've said that before. Um, let's do them two. Ten. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 yep, 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 I, yeah, I just, oh my goodness, completely drew a blank, <laughs> yes, boss was my play, um, I was going to, to get the Pidgeot and then boss, and I just completely drew a blank there, no, that is not what I wanted to do, um, yeah, so I can't boss now, and I gave them a solid hand, I did not mean to do that. Um, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Really rough. That's rough, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> completely, completely screwed up right there. I not only meant I can't boss, but I also gave them an incredibly strong hand. Because yeah, boss was the play. Boss was the play without question. Okay. Um Yeah. Hit two ten. At least they're both gonna be they're both gonna be down. I have another Zard ready. So it's I'm not out, but yeah. Bossing up that Drago and knocking it out was the play. What's that do? Oh, three dragon Pokemon in hand. So they get their, their Drago V Star too. Yeah, I gave them everything. I gave them everything. I am ashamed. Yep. I mean, the bright side is I don't think there's anything they have that can one hit my Charizard, right? I have to boss up. Gosh, I need to knock out that Vulpix. I forgot they had the Vulpix. Because now it's powered up. Man, I am in much worse shape. I mean, at least... Yeah, um, yeah, so I can arm him for counter catcher. So I can arm him for the counter catcher and knock out the, the bull picks. So that is the uh that is the bright side. Hey, look, there it is, top deck. 
Okay, Charmander. Like an Arvin. Now for a candy. And something to throw away. They don't play any EXs, right? They play Toad Scroll. So I probably yeah, I probably need the, the belt for that. Because that can just So it can do it can do a lot of damage. <clears throat> so I probably need to keep the belt for that. Well, I guess I only have the belt that's president. Oh, death, you lost. What happened, bro? Um Yeah, we have to counter capture and knock out the Vulpix. We can't. What what was it that you played against? That Roxanne is, is going to be really good, I think. They're already down, so I don't think I need the Defiance Band. This way... Oh, yeah, that's right. You played against Guardy. Yeah, a good Guardy player is, is tough to play against. That is for sure. Um, Death, you need to go back and watch this video when I'm done because I played a massive, had a massive play mistake earlier. Like, completely turned the game around. However, it might have ended up pretty good now, actually. Because without that, I wouldn't be able to counter capture and knock this out. They don't play eerie, do they? They don't play eerie. Or any way to mess with my hand so I can... I can sit here with a candy in hand, it looks like. I played that Charmander this turn. Knock out the Vulpix, because the Vulpix is, is a uh, major problem for me. Super, they two, play two Super Rods, so they can get it back. One Super Rod is down. Three, how many energies? 14 energies. Three, five, eight. So they still have six energy left. That's going to be crazy. He got me. He got, yep, that's what they do. Was he, um, did he continuously like Turo his, his guardy back or something? Oh, they're going to rod that Vulpix back. Lucky for me, I have the Pidgeot live, so I can just get bosses and boss up the um, the Vulpix. Yeah, the uh, the Turo on the the run a blank um, on the the Guardi is rough because you're not being able to take a two prizer, and then they're able to just continuously pump that out. It's something that Guardi can do now since they are not. Um, the only fear I have is if they end up using the Altaria attack with the, with the Regidrago V-Star. <clears throat> Phonix active Pokemon is now asleep. During Pokemon checkup, your opponent flips two coins instead of one. And Turo is my only, my only way out of that. Oh, death, you dropped? There's no fun in that. Oh, you know what? Does that only have 200? Oh, it has 220 HP. Man, so I can't Devo to win to knock that out. All right. So we need to boss here again. Uh, I do have another boss. Good. Um, so death, <laughs> there is a chance that two losses can make top eight. Slight, very, very slight chance. And that would involve people not taking draws at the end. And it's hit or miss if they do, because there's so few people in this tournament. So there is a very slight chance, but still a chance that it could happen. Oh no! Not a Charizards. That's unfortunate. Um. 
Yeah, because one was prized. <clears throat> I think I had a rod prize too. So I'm going to pull two prizes, 50% chance of getting a Zard here. Um, so yeah, I don't just win. Yeah, 13 people throw, but it's eight rounds. Wait a minute. Oh no, I might win. I might still win. I just need an energy. Which I only have one left. Eek. Oh, I got the Pidgey out still. Okay. So we're going to take the knock here. And then I still have TM Devo. No, because that, no, that he's still not out. Dang it. Okay, there's the Zard. So he can still, no, he has no hand disruption. They have no hand disruption. So if they put my Zard to sleep, I could be in trouble. But does that do damage? Oh, yeah, it does 110. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. 220. Yeah, it's fine. Because if they put it to sleep, they can load up a board. Yeah, they're just... Wait, two, 200. That was Gudra, right? Did he just use Gudra? I'm guessing he just used Gudra. But I'm still fine. I still win. Um, I don't, but I can pig you out for the rod. So I pig you out. Yeah, I have one energy left. But I pig you out for the rod, get the energies back, and then I just win. <clears throat> uh, yes, Charizard candy. Okay. Um... So I think it was actually better for me that I screwed up because then that turned on counter capture and it kept me alive. Two twenty. Yeah, that's with the so they did use the Guter attack. So there we go. That's ball game. So we got there. Um, yeah, I think it was definitely to my advantage that I screwed up earlier. That put the counter capture active and allowed me to knock out that Vulpix. If I didn't, I would have been in major trouble with that Vulpix. This guy is fully teched out. Chino in the active. Don't look like three Chinchinos. Three, three Lugia line. Oh, he just passed up just the Minchino. I wish I could punish him for that, but I can't. I can do 30 to him, but that's it. So we're going to Arvin. I want a buddy, buddy poffin. Man, my uh, my max belt's prized. So we're gonna take a choice belt, or not max belt. My um, you know that one thing. Four seal, four seal's prized. All right, buddy, buddy poffin. Can I get the charmander out of the active? I cannot. So we're going to go Pidgey, Charmander. Thank you, my play. Um, B Barrel is prized. Okay. I have everything else, so we're going to do that. <clears throat> Ultra Ball away, the Turo, and the Roxanne, because late game, they don't really need cards. They got Gift. They can draw stuff back anyway. Um, Actually, the play collapsed. I don't need 
the vacuum in this matchup. So we'll do that. And we will get the Rotom. And hopefully we shall be able to collapse that away. And instant charge. All right. We can set up the Pidgeot and Ixchar as our next turn, assuming no Iona. Let's see what he has. Yes. No, no, nope. He's digging, plays a Serena. Does he just have a dead hand? If he had something, he'd be playing it, right? He might just have a dead hand. Oh, call for family. That's that's a thing. Two Lugias. Okay. Yep. I don't know why he didn't just call for family with him. Okay. Not 220. 220 is a rough number. Um, but he can't do much. Yeah, this is this is solid for me. This is this is really good. Um, so I can rare candy the Pidgeot. And then get the Zard, knock out the Munchino. He doesn't have any chop or he has one chop in there. But he's only being able to attack with Lugia at that point. So I'm in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, that's candy. So if he doesn't play Devo, he doesn't play anything I'm worried about. game has been been very freezy lately I'm afraid it's gonna like freeze in the middle of the match for me one two three one two and three and let's just knock out the the Mancino. so they have a three three line left with that knocked out that gift helps him out a little bit, but um, the best he can do, I think, is attack with the Lugia V Star this turn. And he's down four energies already, so he's down to thirteen energies, which is rough with with Conchino. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Here's what we can gift. Hit the V Guard doesn't matter. Miss doesn't matter. He's down a Jet. Right, it's the only jet on there. Master Ball searching for Lugia V Star. Nope, Archaeops, so he has the Ultra Ball then. Or the Serena. There's the Lugia. Okay, research. So now he is getting a new hand. It possibly would have been fine to Turo the Rotom there. I think I want to save the Turo to try to save a Charizard or something where I can collapse that away, possibly next turn. And then also hurt them when I use Collapsed. So that's kind of my intent there. Because when I collapse, they have to get rid of a Lugia, they have to get rid of an Archaeops, or probably a Mancino is what they're going to get rid of. Um, but actually, if I could... If I boss up a Chops... Maybe I just boss up a Chops. Uh, I don't think so, but, uh, well, I will look. Okay, let's see. Um, let me 
bossing up an Archeops might be pretty good right now. I won't be able to save my Charizard. He'll be able to return Knockout. But then he's only down to one Archeops for the rest of the game. He's going to go down to four prizes if I do that. I think that's just the best move, I think. Him not being able to do anything seems good. And then. Buddy Poffin for you and you, I think, is what I want to do. This will take me to even prizes at this point, which is why I can do this. Um, If I go, I'm going to collapse away the Rotom now. But I also want to get Charmeleon out there. Maybe counter capture? Possibly. Because I don't know if I'll ever be behind in prizes. I think that's what I want to do. Then we get Charmeleon. So that's going to be ready to go. Then I can pig out for a Zard. Then we're going to collapse away the Rotom. Make them get rid of something. And then they're down to one Chops. Okay, they got rid of their Lugia, which is fine. Chops goes away. I'm on even prizes. And they only have one Archeops left to play the game. On Tails. Ah, so they got the Chinchino. And no Chinchino for you, sir. Uh, Death. Go ahead and do, well, um, you know what? Do the list, paste it into Notepad, and leave, is it just one tail on, charm, tail on fire charm idea? Okay, leave that one spot blank, and then just hand write it in there when you get there. Um, you can check to see if Zeke's has a good Charmander uh, right when you get there. Um, I can text around to see if one of the guys has a Charmander to borrow. But that way it's open. You can just hand write in what you need. So that's probably the safest bet. That way you're not locked into the tail on fire. Uh, what are they bossing? Are they bossing something? Are they gonna... Oh no, they're bossing my Pidgeot. Man. Chino and my Pidgeot. Why would they do such a thing? Four, five, six, seven, fourteen. Are they out of energies? Oh no, they still have two more left. They're almost out of energies. Hmm. That Luminion seems like a good target for me. So I knocked that out. If I knock out the Conchino, then they only have three energies left, which is not really enough to do much damage. And I have Radiant Zard. So I think we're going to play it that way. Oh, you know what? 
I have a Turo. I have a Turo. That's insane. That really keeps me alive here. Mm, but I have to give away the Choice Belt, which I don't love. But they're they're not gonna. I don't see them taking a single a single prize knockout. But yeah, I mean Turo has to be the play. Oh wait, no, no, I don't need to because I yeah, it's back to hand. Never mind. Yeah, that's a massive play. So here, into the Charizard. Yeah, I'm good. I'm in good shape. Yep. One. Can do one. I want to be able to be able to load this up again. Well, I guess I can throw those back in. Yeah, that was fine. Whatever. Like, no, I'm not missing those. I'm gonna play the rest of the game without Pidgeot. Cause he's he's a liability. Um. Let's set him up. Bring those back. I really need B-Barrel. Really need B-Barrel. Okay. So knocking that Chinchino out is huge. Because they're down to like three energies in the deck. I don't know them. Pretty low. Seems good. I wish I had my B-Barrel. 10. I play 17. 13. So they're down to four energies. Down to four. So 28 is the most they can do. Well, they can only get three on the Conchino now. Yeah, that Turo plate was huge. What are the odds I can will a boss like I did last time? <clears throat> If I if I was able to get back a Pidgey out, they'd just be able to Conchino it again for two more prizes, which is rough. Dude, Charizard's so good. Charizard is so good in the meta right now. Okay, I'm okay with the Iono because I didn't really love my hand. And there's the boss. Okay. So boss seems fine. Maybe. Because they are massively going to run out of energies, I think. 200. So on one hand, wait a minute. Hold on. So if I bossed up the, the Archeops, knocked it out, they cannot really accelerate energies. They get two prizes there. I do have the Radiant Zard. On the other hand, if I bossed up They go here next turn. I go there. They get a return knockout. They win. Wait, there's still four prizes. Okay. I, I'm, I need three. So if I go here, then Radiant Zard can knock out anything. If I boss up that... I think I just do that. I don't know. I don't know what the right play was. Um, I ran out of time. 
if I bossed up the Archaeops, they knocked that out, then I think Lugia just wins it for him. So I think that was the right play, putting everything within Radiant Zard range. So they're going to go down to two. I only have single prizers out there right now. And then I also have the boss. I wish that was down to 30 where I could knock it out with a Charmander or something. So they're jetting that up. So they can get the knock with that. With the Chinchino. Chinchino, Chinchino. That's that's kind of the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They have two energies left and one card in hand. They have gift. Anywhere, two gifts left. Is that one? Is that a gift? That's a gift. No gift there. 40. So, yep, that was enough to knock that out. Red Zard is going to get a knock here, and then I'm down to a turn. Pig Jow would be nice. Maximum Belt does not help me. Um, get that out of my hand. Okay, so if I Radiant Zard here, knock him out, he has the, the Lugia. 714. Which Mingchino can't knock him out yet. I'm assuming the last two cards are not energies, Tim. One more and he could knock it out. I think I need the last two prizes. Thanks, Death. Thank you for joining me. I will let you know how this ends up. Maybe I got lucky and he drew all his energies. Okay, so B-Barrel will help. Possibly like Candy Zard for win. Two there. Probably should have dropped the Pidgey just in case I got Candy Pidgey up. Because I have two Candies left. I have two Zards left. So I'm going to empty my hand, B-Barrel, and hope for the best. He bosses something up, I win. So he has to take the knockout on the Cinchino here. Or on the uh the the Radiant Charizard. And then it comes down to can I draw something? Which I got Arvin's, I got Iono. Well, Iono didn't help me really. But I got Arvin's. One Arvin left. Two Arvin's, something like that. Oh no, and there goes my bibs. No, that was my chance. I own, oh, there's Arvin. Unfortunately, Arvin is not going to be enough. Arvin is not going to be enough, and I think I'm going to lose. Unless I get like a Charizard or a candy, that's not it. Okay. So... It would have been awesome if I could have won with the Devo. Did enough damage to just win there. Um, we are even on prizes. Counter capture doesn't help. I have to Ultra Ball, I guess. Candy doesn't do anything. I have to Ultra Ball. Take that, because that one's completely worthless. So we're going to Ultra Ball for the B-Barrel. 
and hope we hit Candy Charizard. Here we go. Five cards. Give me something. Give me Candy Charizard. This is when I would jug shuffle in a tournament. Come on. That's not it. All right. Well, that is a loss. Um, yeah. Yep, that's a loss. I need to rewatch this and see if there's something I could do differently. The math is just miserable in this kind of this kind of match. Maybe I should not have. I probably just should have just taken out the Lugia earlier, not mess with bossing up the Archaeops. It's probably the right call. Thank you, everybody, for watching my Tournament of Doom run. Um, I know it was not a spectacular run by any means, but I am, you know, always you know playing these games, recording the videos, so I can go back, watch them, see where I can improve. And hopefully this coming weekend in the Tournament of Doom, I will have a much better result. So be sure to check that out. Join my stream on Friday evening when we do the Tournament of Doom. And if you did enjoy the content today, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate any support that you can provide. So other than that, we'll see you next time.